Now we are going to learn how to use your TIBA2 Plus to calculate sample standard deviation. I think you'll find it much simpler to do it with the calculator than to do it by hand as demonstrated in the video lecture. The first thing we need to do is to get this data into the calculator. We have five years of sample data here. Now notice this is sample data. The method I'm about to show you only works with sample data. It will not work with situations where you, given, you are given probabilities of different events in the economy and multiply by the expected return in those uh, situations. So this is purely for sample data. First thing we want to do, second and the number seven, that says data right above it. We're going to enter some data. Now notice that I've already got something in here. This thing will remember what you put into it until something really dreadful happens or you clear it out. So here we go. Second, clear work. Do you see it says clear work right there? The reason we do that is if we have, say, six data points in here from previously, those extra data points are going to hang out there and just wait to mess up your mathematics and give you the wrong answer. So let's get our data entered. Let's enter it as decimal points. And the reason we want to do that is because when we calculate the variance, if we have it in percentages, we are going to be four decimal places off. So let's do it as decimals. Point, zero, three, enter. That's x zero, one. If you don't hit enter, it's like it didn't even happen. Your calculator will deny that you ever typed that number in. Arrow down, Y01. This is for another data series. If we were looking at two different stocks here and how they perform with respect to each other, we would put that other stock in here at Y01. But since we only have one stock, we're just going to leave that alone. Arrow down. X02 is 12%, but it's negative. So we say point one two plus minus enter. Arrow down. Leave Y02 alone because we're only looking at one stock. Arrow down again. The third year is 25%. Point two five. Enter. Arrow down. Y03 we leave alone. Arrow down. The next year is 13%. Point one three. Enter. Arrow down. Leave Y04 alone. And our final year is also 13%. So point one three. Enter. Now we have all the data in there. We are ready to calculate some statistics. You want to hit the second button and then the number eight. Notice that above the number eight it says stat. That's short for statistics. And this says lin, which I am told stands for linear, but it doesn't matter to us. Uh, we just ignore that. Arrow down. N is equal to five. We have five data points, so so far, so good. Arrow down, x bar is equal to 0.084, that would be 8.4%. And that is exactly what Connect says the average, or the arithmetic average, or mean, is for this set of data. Arrow down again, the sample standard deviation is 13.81%, which matches perfectly with what Connect says. Now the next step is to figure out the variance. And what's the relationship between variance and standard deviation? Variance is merely standard deviation squared. But before I square this, I want to point something out. This equal sign lets you know that this number is what the calculator has uh, found for this variable. As soon as I do something to that number though, that equal sign disappears to let you know that this is not the sample standard deviation. Here is the variance, and notice it is exactly the same as Connect said it would be. So now we know how to use the calculator to find these things. Now I want to show you one more thing just to keep you from hurting yourself. If you arrow down one more, you see a lowercase sigma, which also stands for standard deviation. Now some people will see this and think, oh wow, that must be the standard deviation. This is a population standard deviation. 
we do not have the entire population of data. We only have a sample. Therefore, it would be inappropriate to use this number. The number we want is the sample standard deviation. And notice the equal sign is back and the original standard deviation is there too. Once more, if you see this, run screaming. That is not something we are going to be using in this class. Don't do it. This is the standard deviation that you want.